Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel. And um, a lot of people have been asking me um, about this. Uh, so we learned in the past weekend, the past week, that Microsoft 365 had been hacked or there was a data breach. And it seems it has to do with um, a product called SolarWinds that actually had a flaw and made um, pretty much everything that you do from email to all the data coming from different apps um, visible to uh, hackers that could just snoop and look at all of the information there. And um, a lot of you have been asking me, so how, what's the impact of this on my own life? Uh, so this is primarily, first of all, a, um, a business or government account problem. So anybody that actually used Microsoft 365 products and services dealing with uh, U.S. government and dealing with some businesses that use SolarWinds uh, product um, are at risk. So that means that they might have some of the information required to log into your account. Um, on the user side, so like, for example, I am a subscriber of Microsoft 365, but I am, you know, a personal subscriber that that does only little things here with YouTube and all of that. And the main reason I am subscribed is for the YouTube video purposes that I uh, sometimes will need to do videos, but also for the one terabyte of um, storage. How does that affect us? Technically, um, from what I see, it might not affect much in the standard user. Uh, information. But that said, this is a case where you never take a chance. So whatever and wherever that is actually having an impact, you still should be um, making sure that you stay safe. And what are the things to do to stay safe? If you use uh, Outlook, if you use um, any email account like Hotmail, Outlook, and so on, if you use any apps of Microsoft anyways and log in to, you know, Microsoft accounts, well, um, I would suggest, first of all, to make sure that your accounts are all on two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication means even if somebody would have that password, it can't, they can't log in until you approve the login, you know, so you're already safe with two-factor authentication. But I would still suggest that you change that password that you're using for your Microsoft account. Make sure it's a good password. Make sure that you don't use that password anywhere else. If for some reason you're using the same password there and everywhere else, then that means you'll have to change your passwords everywhere. So that is simply what you should do. By changing the password, and by enabling two-factor authentication, you're safe and there won't be any problems or they won't get into your accounts because, of course, now it's discovered. So they fixed and they uh, made sure that that is, uh, um, you know, secure again. So just out of, you know, making sure that you're okay, uh, change that password and... Um, Best of all, and that that is a, a good way of you know keeping safe everywhere. Anyways, make sure that you have two-factor authentication turned on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.